Hello everyone, my name is George Packard with Family Lawn and Landscape and today our project is going to be putting in steps going down to a lake. So I'm going to kind of show you the area that, uh, that we're talking about that we're going to be working on here and we'll just go step by step, um, try to teach you a little bit about how to put in steps going down to a lake. Um, you get in some of these steep areas, uh, steep terrain, and kind of show you uh, what we're talking about here and uh, we'll just take it one step at a time. And hopefully that'll help you if you ever come up with a project where you need to put steps in. Thanks. Okay, this is the area that we're going to be working on. And uh, we're going to try to build some steps here that go down to the dock that heads out into the lake area. Okay, now we're down here by the dock area. And we're looking up the hill. And the first thing we do is we, kind of, we take spray paint. We paint out our, our stripes on our areas where we're going to be working. And our steps are going to be 25 feet long and 4 feet wide. Alright everybody, uh, what we're done here, this is what we did yesterday. And this is what we're going to be doing up on the hill. We put in some steps coming down to the lake, down out to their dock area. We built a 5 foot pad out on the end of this. And then each of these sections are 4 feet wide. So we just step it up as we go and just do it uh, 2 by 4 runners or 2 by 12 runners on the sides. And then we build our beams in the middle to help hold and stabilize the soil behind it. Now we're going to go work on the new one. Hello everyone, we're back here. We're about ready to get started on our step project. On the background, we've got a backhoe that we're going to use to trench in for our side plates on our step, for our runners, okay? So we'll pay attention here to Gary and we'll see just how he trenches things out. We've got to get our runners down in the ground so that we can get them set in place then we'll run our beams across the end. We'll show you that in just a second. Okay, now we're at the point where uh, we're placing our first runner board and we, we hand trenched it out after we got done uh, with the backhoe and now Cliff's going to drive in some rebar stakes to hold this in place. So I'll kind of show you how that works once he gets these in the ground. All right, then he's going to take some nails, he's going to drive them in on the, both sides of it, and he'll bend them over to help hold that in place. All right, and the other thing I wanted to mention was that uh, whenever you're putting this stuff, or you're doing this type of work, to make sure that you're using the treated lumber and not your untreated lumber because the untreated lumber is going to rot very quickly where your treated materials will last way longer, last 10 times longer. And you want to place these about every four feet all the way up the board to help give it some stability and then we'll backfill it as we go. Okay, now that we've gotten our first runners in place on the, on the right, what we did is we installed the left side, we're in the process of it, and now we're going to try and determine and make sure that they're level, is what Gary's trying to do right here. Yeah, we're done, we're level. We're done, all right. All right, now the guys are checking the bottom to make sure that's level as well. Okay. 
All right, you might have to do a little hand work here and you know it's nice to have that trencher backhoe because you can really get a lot of work done. Now we're going to take a level to it and make sure that we get our step level. Once he gets this leveled in, these are just starter screws to hold it in place for us. We're going to come back with lag screws. In order to do that, Gary's going to pre-drill, he's going to pre-drill some holes in here. If you don't pre-drill the holes on the outside of this, what can happen is you can split this board by trying to put these lag bolts in, okay? I'll kind of show you what we're doing here. But we'll have to pre-drill them, Gary. You also take a washer, here's your lag bolt, your washer, put them on. What this does, this allows your, your tool to come up, press against this as it drills into the wood without burying this. Because if you didn't have this on, you would bury this into the wood and you'd never be able to get it off if you had to take it apart for any reason. So now we're going to lag bolt this. Just use a impact gun. Just do it until it snugs up tight, like it did. I'm not trying to bury it in there. I'm just trying to snug it up tight, hold everything tight. You put at least two in each, right in the center of your beam. Now this is limestone screenings. This is what we use in our base in between the steps. We just take and just compact this stuff down. Every we just put two inches in at a time and then compact. Okay, 
So now that we've done that, we'll continue to lag both these in, and we're going to move on to the next step. All right. Well, we've gotten to the top of our stairway now. Uh, we've gotten all of them in, all the way up. We're just going to finish the last piece right here, the last pad that we have, and then we'll have it wrapped up. So you got to compact these really good. And the harder you compact, and of course, the less it's going to wash out when you do have rains and things like that. And you can't really get up mechanical compactor in here because it's such a tight space so it all has to be done by hand. And that's how you build steps. See you next time.